Pardon me, excuse me. Hi everyone, Mr. Canman here. I know it doesn't look it, but I've been recycled 678 times already. And yet here I am, still looking shiny and new as ever. And I can keep going forever as long as someone keeps putting me in the recycling bin. Isn't recycling amazing? I remember back in the day when I was a younger pop can. Hey, snap out of it. We've got a tour to do. What? Oh, I just get nostalgic about all my past lives. I know what you mean. I used to be a cardboard box, then a magazine. Oh man, it's easy to get distracted here. It's kind of a party in this bin with all the commingling. We're all in here together because the Boulder County Recycling Center allows you to recycle all of us together. It's called single stream recycling and it's so simple. Everyone can take a part in helping the planet. But we better get moving. Someone forgot to empty and rinse, and it stinks in here. My fibers! I don't want to get wet. Hey guys, don't forget about me. It's dark in this bin, and I don't want to be left alone. It's all fun and games when we're in the bin together. But if we want to be made new, and we do, we need to be separated into our material types before we can be sent to factories to become new things. This is my first time going through the system. Oh boy, I don't know what to expect. How on earth are they going to separate us all? We're so mingled. That's the fun part. It's a wild ride. Come on, let's see. After you finish with your recyclable item, whether it's paper, metal, glass, or plastic, we all get thrown into the same recycling bin and journey together by truck to the Boulder County Recycling Center. Ooh, it's pretty. This place is full of state-of-the-art equipment that takes in recyclable materials all mixed together from your homes, schools, businesses, and public spaces. The materials are then sorted, screened, shaken, and baled so they can be resold and made into new products. So put on your hard hats and let's see how it all works. When recyclables like us arrive at the Boulder County Recycling Center, our journey to our next life as new material begins out here on the tipping floor, where recyclable materials are dropped off by the truckload. Powerful loaders then push all the stuff onto one conveyor belt, leading to the main facility where the sorting process begins. A paddle wheel spreads us out and keeps us from being piled high on the belt. Size is a big deal at the Boulder County Recycling Center, and the first part of the sorting system separates the very big from the very small. First, the big bad things are pulled out at the first pre-sort, or what I like to call the big bad thing remover. These quick-handed people go through all this and pull out the larger bad things that are very damaging to the recycling system. They also grab any items they can that are not recyclable and shouldn't have been there in the first place. The non-recyclable items are sent straight to the landfill, so please help us by only recycling materials listed in your recycling guidelines. After those bad things are removed at the first pre-sort, the big pieces of cardboard are separated out. The materials bounce and flip and rock and roll over the corrugated cardboard screen. And at the top, the large pieces of cardboard drop off the end, where they eventually make their way to the floor where they get nicely bailed up and sold to companies who make new things out of old cardboard. As that's happening, the smaller materials, like me, fall through the screen and onto a series of conveyor belts that take us back into the tipping hall. So, we've taken out the biggest materials and now it's time to remove the smallest pieces. Now, we roll over sets of specially designed steel star discs which shatter glass on purpose this helps the glass move on to its next life as quickly as possible. The small material passes over a fine screen. Most of the glass is now in pieces that are two inches or less in size. They will fall through the screen down to a conveyor belt below and onto the glass line, which goes back into the main facility. Any glass that didn't fall through will head to the second pre-sort and eventually make its way back to the glass line. 
glass and other small materials are separated from paper and containers at two places within the system, the fine screen and the debris roll screen. Once the materials are successfully separated, a series of conveyors carries the glass under a magnet to remove small bits of unwanted materials such as screws and nails. After the magnet, the glass heads to a shaker screen, which spreads the material out to pass under a vacuum, helping remove paper and some small containers. We're not finished yet! Now, the glass goes through a resonance screen to remove any remaining paper and containers, which will be recirculated through the system to be sorted and recycled. Finally, the clean glass drops through the resonance screen into a 40-yard storage container, where it waits to be transported to a glass recycler. Now that we know how the glass is sorted, let's keep following the materials that weren't taken out by the fine screen. Containers, paper, and some glass that didn't fall through the screen, which go to the second pre-sort. Here, more busy hands work to pull out more materials. This time it's smaller pieces of cardboard and paperboard, like cereal and shoe boxes that are dropped down long chutes, kind of like tunnels, bailed and sent to the market to make new products. They're also pulling out things that either aren't recyclable at all, or can't be recycled at this facility, like plastic bags, which are sent straight to the landfill. Luckily, at our facility we have fancy bag sucker-uppers, which are used to suck up plastic bags from the sorting lines to prevent them from getting tangled in the equipment. Plastic bags are still some of the worst contaminants at the recycling center, so please, instead of bagging recyclables or sending your plastic bags here, take them to participating grocery stores to recycle, or the EcoCycle Center for Hard to Recycle Materials, also known as CHARM. And here's a hint, make sure the bags are clean and dry when you drop them off or they'll still end up in the landfill. Or better yet, avoid using plastic bags altogether by bringing your own reusable bag to the store. After going through the second pre-sort, the materials head to the screens, or more specifically, the fancy double-deck paper screens. Remember how the first part of the sorting process was separating the very big from the very small? Well, here at the double-deck screens, we're separating the containers from the paper. The double-deck screens separate flat objects like paper from round or three-dimensional objects such as plastic bottles, steel cans, milk and juice cartons, and aluminum cans like me. The flat papers are what we call mountain climbers. They literally climb up layer after layer of specially designed rubber discs all the way to the top deck. But containers like me can't climb the discs. We're like boulders in the middle of an avalanche and we fall backward onto another screen. Meanwhile, at the top deck, the clean paper takes a flying leap off the end onto a conveyor belt leading to quality control stations where workers remove any remaining contamination and sort papers into different grades of paper. Paper making it past these folks heads to an automated baler and then sent to paper markets to be made into new paper items. They'll blend me up, get all the writing out of me, and I'll be a new paper soon. Bye friends, see you in the bin! Oh, and by the way, since this equipment is sorting flat items from three-dimensional items, it is important that containers stay 3D rather than being flattened or the equipment might confuse a container for a piece of paper and send us to the wrong place. That's why we ask you not to flatten plastics or cans like me. And please be sure to ball your aluminum foil instead of flattening it. But back on the double-deck paper screens, where all us containers fell back while the paper kept climbing, we didn't quite get all the paper and containers separated. So we do the whole process over again on the bottom deck. Even after that, we still have some paper with us, so we need to climb one last mountain. But of course, we containers are too heavy for the airstream, so we fall back down onto the screen. All leftover materials, mostly containers, some paper, and some glass, go to the debris roll screen, which contains another set of steel discs that shatter any additional glass. Anything two inches or smaller falls down to a conveyor belt that meets with the other two inch minus line we said goodbye to back at the tipping floor. Paper and containers still on the line go to the polishing screen, where once again, any paper still on the belts climbs up and the containers fall through the rollers and they're sent through the system again to be properly sorted this time. Back inside the plant, my container friends and I have gone through three screens to remove the last of the paper. Except you'll see there is some paper still there, shredded paper. 
the shred of paper fell through the cracks between the rubber disks and is still here with the containers. This stuff wreaks havoc on the systems, especially since it contaminates the glass line. Please, don't put your shredded paper in your recycling bin at home or work or at school. Instead, place the shred in your curbside compost bin. Back on the line. Now that the paper is separated out, it's time for all the containers to move through the container sorting system. Once again, it all starts with a pre-sort station where workers check for contamination. Make sure you empty and rinse your containers. The old food and drinks can make yucky bacteria that can put our workers at risk. They can also attract stinging insects and rodents. No thanks! If we make the grade here, we can continue on the cross-belt magnet. The magnet removes all the steel cans from the stream and zap discharges them into their own personal bunker. Oh, that's me. See you next time. I'll be melted down, reformed, and full of soup again in no time. Well, all my friends got to go down waterfalls, climb mountains, and stick to magnets. What's going to happen to me? What if I end up in the wrong place? Or worse, the landfill. Don't worry, we'll get you to where you belong. Wait till you see what's next. The only materials left on the line should be plastics, aluminum, and milk or juice carton. We all go through a roller coaster called the optical sorter. There are two optical sorters here at the Boulder County Recycling Center, which are programmed to identify different types of plastic. These specially designed machines use an advanced camera system to examine each item on the conveyor belt and identify which type of plastic it is, all in a millisecond. Because this all happens automatically, we can sort plastic faster and more accurately than ever before. Let's take a look inside. First up are all the number one plastics. When an item passes under the camera, if it is recognized as a number one, a quick blast of air sends it up the chute and down the correct bunker for storage. Wow, I've been scanned. Here I go. Next to be scanned are the number twos, then number fives. And the last one takes all the threes, fours, six, and sevens. From there, they'll go on to the baler and then be sold to make new bottles and even materials like countertops, carpeting, and clothing. Oh no, it's just us. I don't want to be alone. Don't worry. You'll also be sorted, baled, and soon enough, recycled into a new carton. And finally, it's my turn. The aluminum cans are sent to the eddy current separator. A big magnet inside creates a current that literally propels the aluminum off the conveyor and into its own storage bin. Once all these light containers have been sorted and baled, they're ready for shipment by truck, by train, and by ship to markets across the country and even around the world. And that's how it all happens. The Boulder County Recycling Center is doing its part to help Boulder County become a zero waste community by 2025. And because we're all in this together, remember to reduce, reuse, recycle, and compost. <laughs>